first of all, I just want to thank all of you that show your support here on this channel. Thank you guys for tuning in, watching my content. Thank you for giving me time out of your day to give me a chance to earn your subscription. And that means a lot to me. Also, I'm going to start putting these manifestations, these affirmations at the beginning of each one of my videos. So if you invest with that, I appreciate it. If you don't, I'm talking. In today's episode of Lessons We Learn in Anime, we're going to talk about five different shows that really push the message of not giving up. So right here at the number five spot, we got to talk about some Naruto. It wouldn't be right on this channel if we didn't. So number five, Naruto. As we all know, Naruto had the goal to become Hokage. And a lot of you who's watched the show, of course, of course at this point you've seen the show. If you haven't, what are you really doing with your life? Anyway, we know Naruto wanted to be Hokage. He wanted to be recognized by everybody in the village as well someone that they can count on he wanted to be someone that they didn't have to be afraid of all throughout his childhood he was lonely and people talked about him and they treated him poorly because of what he had inside of him he just wanted people to recognize that he's a person and his identity is not that of the monster that they believed him to be so he strived for this goal and he did everything in his power to make it happen and eventually we get to see it happen for him and I know y'all was just as happy as I was. Had Naruto given up on his dreams and not tried to get as powerful as he possibly could to protect not only his village, but the friends that he made along the way in other villages, then the show would have turned out completely different. I mean, as we can, you can probably understand that if Naruto wasn't there to fight pain, or if Naruto wasn't there during the fourth grade Ninja War, then things would have drastically took a, a, a wrong turn. So Naruto never gave up. And neither should you. If you have a goal out there that you're trying to reach, you have a position that you want to be in, even if you want to be the president of the country, don't give up. If you don't make it in your 30s, you can make it in your 40s. Don't make it in your 40s, you can make it in your 50s. Y'all know what Judge Judy with the big booty said. So here in number four, we're going to talk about Charlotte. In the anime, Charlotte, the main character, you, has the ability to possess people. And later on in the show, he finds out that he can possess people and take their abilities. So his goal within the plot of the story is to save his sister from a collapse ability that she gets that inevitably kills her. And he finds out that from his older brother that he has the ability to go back in time. So once he gets the ability to time travel, he went back in time to try to save his sister. All right. Well, other events happen in the show, in, in the show, within the story. And the terrorist group is trying to take over and take kids and all that good stuff, blah, blah, blah. And so he took it upon himself to save all of the kids affected by the comet that gave them their powers in the first place once they hit puberty. He took it upon himself to save all those kids by possessing all of them and taking their abilities. But this takes a toll on him. And he refused to give up until he saved all of those kids. And he eventually did that. But he lost all of his memories afterwards and he ended up being recovered by his friends and so now they look forward to making new memories with the guy had you given up a lot of kids would have been hurt or potentially worse they would have been experimented on they would have had to go through a lot of stuff that would have changed the course of their lives and not to mention a lot of those powers that they had could have potentially hurt a lot of other people so he took it upon himself to take on this endeavor and he didn't give up and that was the importance of him not giving up he actually saved the world by not doing so whatever your goal is if you don't believe that you can save the world too then i don't know what else to tell you one person can definitely make a change and you can turn everything around for at least one to two people like you never know how you impact somebody's life so whatever your goal is try to reach it it don't matter if you just wanted to be a janitor for the rest of your life you might clean up a spill that could could have had somebody could have slipped on and, and injured themselves you know you never know so really just never stop shooting for whatever you want to do number three Danyan Rampa. if any of you have ever seen this anime then you know that it is a death game and it's highly ridiculous honestly Monokuma was the best best boy of all best boys he's the best I'm like Monokuma was actually a menace a, a very terrible menace but I loved him he was funny but in this show they're stuck inside of a school where someone has to kill and not be figured out in order to escape but if they're figured out then they get executed if they're not figured out then everybody else gets executed so essentially an l is an l in this show but the main character has to come to the despair that i guess the 
creator of the game, Junko and Nishima, wanted to bring about to everybody, then they wouldn't have succeeded in figuring out who was behind all of it and how to get out. And they would have actually been so out of luck that they probably would have died in the first episode, everybody, if the main character would have just given up and curled into a ball and not tried to do whatever he did. I mean, the detective girl could only do so much, but she was very limited, and Junko knew that. So, yeah. Again, this is another instance in where if the main character had given up, everybody would have died. Number two, we got Batum. In this show, they're all dumped on an island, and they don't know it at first, but then they figure out that people that they knew were the reason that they were on the island. So they had given someone a reason to make them, to want to make them just disappear. And for that, they all ended up on this island in this battle royale situation using different bombs and stuff. And a situation like this can seem so hopeless that you just want to give up or you just want to dig in and hide because you have a fear of being killed by someone else who wants the money, who wants the glory, who wants to win so bad that they'll do anything. And alliances really don't matter because people will stab you in the back. But the main character in this just so happened to be familiar with the equipment. And there was no option to give up for him at this point because he knew what he could do with these bombs or blips, whatever you want to call them. And he knew what he had to do in order to get back home. If this man had given up and not at least fought for it and tried to get off the island, then I honestly would have saw this main character as a coward. Like, if even if someone is coming at you with a whole arsenal, fight back. Get up, pick something up, fight back. If you're going to go out, you might as well go out swinging. I know that's easier said than done, but I mean, it's the truth. If you're going to take an L, you know that you're about to take an L. At least go out swinging. You might get a good hit in or something. That, that could save the next person. Real quick, if you made it this far in the video, man, go ahead and like the video and subscribe. Because, you know, welcome. Just, just be a part of the family. We do gaming. We do anime videos, of course, like this one. We do reactions. All of that good stuff. So just be a part of the family. Number one. In the world of full metal, what, what would they have done without Edward? And Alphonse. Exactly. You already know where I'm going with this. If they had given up, Father would have really realized everything that he had going. And the homunculus would have probably taken up. Well, I mean, they had already taken over. I mean, the Furo King Bradley was one of them. But we're not even going to talk about the main plot here. We're going to talk about just in general the goal that Edward had for his brother. Like, his goal was to get Alphonse's body back because he, he he fucked up like he he messed up during when they were trying to bring their mother back i mean of course they were kids and they were naive very very much so stupid and they they, they tried a taboo alchemy that they probably shouldn't have they kids they had no business kids should have stayed kid place but they didn't and they tried it and alphonse lost his body so one of the main goals of edward his brother was to get him his body back and you know, eventually they do do this, and it makes you feel real good for sticking in it and watching the whole show because the show was freaking amazing. If you if you haven't watched it, what like, bro, bro, Full Metal Alchemist? That you, it is worth watching both the the regular original one and Brotherhood. They're both chef's kiss, amazing. Well, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Please leave a like and comment. You know what I'm saying? Let me know that you. Made it this far of the video. If you made it this far of the video, definitely leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I appreciate everybody who watched all the way to the end. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay cool. Got the moments where I'm moody. Y'all was judging me like Judy. Based my story off like Rudy. Put your statement off like Cootie. Talking battle rapping guy. Here's a beast and here a beauty. That's a plot. Now here's a twist.